processing and second is uh, secondary processing and primary processing uh, there are different machineries that are used for uh, converting the grain that is uh, harvested from the field to the consumer table that is in the cooked form and uh, the millets are harvested at 16 percent is moisture content and then it is dried to 10 percent is moisture content in open air drying or drying yard and then in big tray dryers for safe storage moisture content and this uh, primary processing involves drying crushing winnowing and milling and the primary processing accounts for about eight percentage of the production value of the food processing industry and uh, there are uh, many equipments in primary processing one is cleaning come uh, cleaner come grader come aspirator so here uh, the cleaning is a very important step that is to be done since uh, mud balls or uh, small shafts uh, that are present along with the grain will come uh, to the value added products and it will deteriorate the quality of the secondary processed value added product so cleaning has to be very thoroughly done so that uh, the quality of the value added product is assured so the machines uh, help for this uh, purpose and uh, traditionally the women laborer were engaged for this and nowadays uh, the machines have been developed and depending upon the particle size and shape and particle stickiness and abrasiveness uh, different machine factors can be controlled so that the uh, cleaning efficiency can be improved depending upon the grain that is to be uh, cleaned so the sieve slope here uh, the detachable sieves are present in the uh, cleaner come grader come aspirator and uh, the sieve slope can be adjusted so that uh, the uh, shape of the grain can be will not affect the cleaning efficiency and next is the length and width of the sieve so it uh, the length usually differs away for it is usually two to three times the width of the sieve it is selected in such a way that uh, it suits the grain size and the grain moisture content grain variety and the cropping pattern and this is the cleaner come grader come uh, destroyer so destroyer is uh, here so, uh, depending upon the specific gravity principle the denser particles called the stones will be uh, separated from the sieve by to and fro action of the sieves and the stones will get collected at the uh, separate outlet and uh, the cleaned grains will come to the uh, front sieve and uh, there the grading sieves will be arranged and uh, the grading sieves will have a uh, higher holes at the higher size holes at the top and lower size holes at the bottom so that uh, two grades can be uh, certified and a commercial purpose can be ascertained with this grading and so the capacity of this machine is 500 kg per hour and it is uh, very easy to operate and uh, a person is trained to operate uh, for and it is uh, uh, suitable for all types of millets uh, both major millets and minor millets and uh, next is the uh, destroyer uh, next is the millet uh, dehuller so dehulling is a unit operation that is done to remove the hull that is present at the outside of the grain so that the indigestible nature of the grain will be reduced and the hull is uh, uh, hull usually the accounts for 10 percentage of the grain weight so it has to be removed and uh, there are two three layers that are also present and uh, it has to be thoroughly removed so that the digestion nature is uh, improved and this is uh, the first uh, de millet dehuller that is being developed uh, we type uh, millet dehusker here there is an abrasive action there is a two disc that is rotating and when the grain comes in contact with the two disc the grain gets uh, shattered and the outer hull gets removed so here the capacity is 100 kg per hour and the working principle is abrasion and attrition and there is a cyclone separator also that is present and the air that will suck the husk that is removed from the grain and it will uh, take it to the separate outlet so next is uh, uh, here the number of sieves are three and uh, it can be detached and it can be attached so that uh, the efficiency can be improved and uh, next is uh, the single stage dehuller so here this is also a dehuller but uh, uh, because uh, in the only setback of this uh, single stage dehuller is broken or more so we have gone for the second uh, model of a two stage dehuller also so the capacity is 100 kg per hour and here also there is a cyclone setup uh, where the husk gets removed and the uh, uh, thoroughly dehulled grain also gets removed so the, it is run by a 3 hp single phase motor and uh, this is a two stage dehuller here uh, the grain comes in contact with the dehulling action two times so that the two two three layers which are present in the grain will get uh, removed in one single pass so it is run by 7 by hp motor and it is a uh, capacity is around 300 kg per hour so next is uh, the polisher so the advantages of this primary processing machines are millet dehusking machine reduces the human effort and the operation is simple compared to manual method and the implementation is increases the millet production rate and it is a time saving process its maintenance is easy 
and it is simply construction occupy less space and it can be made portable also so that it can be moved from one place to another in the field also it can be brought to the field and the efficiency can be checked in the field also and the disadvantages are the initial investment is high and the power has to be in the small form of formal field also otherwise hand operated or leg operated machines can be used and motorized machines cannot be used and then the wear and tear of the machine then and there the machines have to be checked for its wear and tear and the parts of the machine has to be replaced for resuming the correct efficiency of the machine so next is the polishing so polishing is mainly done to remove the outer bran layer that is uh, causing a rancidity in the uh, millers uh, during its storage so bran is uh, rich in uh, oil content and it is a real cause of rancid nature and there is a lipase that is a enzyme which is present in the bran and it uh, deteriorates the whole grain if it is not removed so this polisher plays a major role and this is a major millet polisher and there are two types of polisher major millet polisher and minor millet polisher and a major millet polisher has a, a 350 kg per hour capacity and it can be operated by 3 hp motor also and it is uh, and its capacity is around 60 kg per hour and this is a next polisher here the mechanism is one uh, stationary roller and as other uh, movable uh, roller uh, stone rollers so that the grain when it comes in between these two rollers the bran gets abraded and gets removed and there is a sieve that is present which is used to remove the bran at the bottom and the grain which is a uh, polished will move to the front so this is uh, the capacity is around 60 kg per hour so next is a dehaler which is a dawn foundation dehaler this is a very popular dehaler and it is a very use, very much useful in the farmers field so it is a having capacity of 100 to 150 kg per hour and it is operated by single way 16 vanes and the cost is around 1.5 lakhs per unit so these are this is the millet mill which we have developed in our institute this is the model we have developed where it is houses the abrasive action as well as the removal of the husk by cyclone yeah, by fitting a cyclone the efficiency capacity is around 80 kg per hour so there are so many models that are available in dehalers but dawn foundation dehaler is the one which is we use it so advantages of these uh, prototypes are uh, it uh, reduces the drudgery of women and the time involved in dehaling is reduced from 50 to 70 percentage and 10 percentage more recovery than compared to the abrasive type efficiency of the unit is more so it is versatile to meet varying requirements and affordable cost by even a small farm and are uh, easy to handle and uh, adaptable to local conditions and can be installed in as a part of existing mills and village level prototype can be run with single phase motor also so this is the latest model which we have developed single stage uh, dehaler and uh, double stage dehaler so in dawn foundation dehaler we have made some alterations and we have improved its capacity the capacity is improved from uh, to 92 kg per hour capacity and it is used for very much uh, useful in small millets and this is the double head dehaler there are also two stages are there but the impelling action is there and here the grain uh, the husk gets removed and it is a very efficient dehaler and the capacity is around 74 kg per hour and uh, next is a uh, secondary processing equipment so these are all about the uh, primary processing equipment then next comes a uh, secondary processing equipment so secondary processing equipment includes first wet cleaning equipment and here the uh, grains are cleaned with water and then a uh, biscuit making machine we have a biscuit making machine where we have a planetary mixture we have automatized mechanized all the uh, process that is involved in the secondary processed products like biscuits cakes muffins then noodles vermicelli pasta so the one is a biscuit making machine kurku uh, cookies making machine and here the function of the sheeting roller is to spread the row row into biscuit and the capacity of the machine is 5 to 7 kg per batch so here this is a wet cleaning equipment and this is a cookie making machine so here the capacity is 5 to 7 kg of dough per hour and the main component is cutting dice and the dough sheet forming uh, equipment and uh, the computer is there to control the, the shape of the biscuits cookies so there is a convection oven also we have for baking 400 to 500 biscuits and then uh, we also have a, a extrusion cooking cold extrusion and hot extrusion so cold extrusion here we have make vermicelli and pasta and we uh, for uh, we make with different combinations of uh, millets for making the product very much nutritionally fit for all classes of people including our ch children infant foods as well as adult foods and uh, aged people because it is uh, considered to be a diabetic food and uh, the slow release of carbohydrate makes it fit for uh, uh, aged people also and uh, we have also got a hot extrusion here a kurkure uh, 
uh, can be made using hot extrusion and vermicelli. Here you can see the machine uh, which uh, where vermicelli is processed. Sorghum semolina is the raw material for vermicelli formation. And the dough is mixed and the extrusion, because the dough gets extruded and it is dried at 80 degrees in a uh, tray dryer, which is kept separately and then it is packed. So it is semi-automatic. And then the, the next is the hot extrusion. Here kurkure is are made. Here it is fully automatic. Just we put the dough inside the hopper and uh, we get the kurkure. And then we go for a uh, uh, that um, uh, masala coating uh, for the kurkure so that uh, it be becomes delicious. And then the semolina making machines also we are having because of the particle size difference. The suji can be made uh, like uh, like that of uh, pearl millet and uh, 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 other uh, small millets. The sorghum millets can also be converted into semolina. And semolina can be made into vidli rava, upma rava and kichadi rava. So depending upon the particle size, uh, we uh, pack it into three different uh, shapes and you can see the machines which is used for sieving uh, semolina. It is a batch process. Actually, we have made it into continuous process also using giant machineries of 500 kg per hour capacity. And uh, next is uh, we are also having puffing and flaking machine. So puffs and the murmura and poha are the two important uh, value-added products that are made from millets and uh, popping. Uh, like popping is also important snack food product which uh, suits the uh, small children and we have a roaster for it and we go for roasting the grain and then the pre-processing and then go for pressing the grain for making into a poha and then puffing also we have a puffing machine we have a puff gun machine at 5 psi pressure and a higher temperature of 200 degrees centigrade the grain gets popped and uh, it is around 3 to 5 kg grain per batch and uh, the machine cost around uh, uh, 5 lakhs and uh, the uh, it is uh, here you can see the batch process, the edge runner batch process and the roaster batch process. And uh, you can, uh, we also have flora and auto making machine also because the uh, laddus or, uh, so, or uh, globe jamun or any uh, value added product like uh, uh, that uh, which is made from flour can be used for um, and can be made by auto making machine. So there is a pulverizer. That we have we have a sieve of different shapes and size so depending upon the raw material that we need we change the sieves and we it suits all the value added products and then we have a giant dry dryer of around 500 biscuits per hour we can dry and vermicelli can also be dried after making in the hot cold extruded and also we have a hot air oven you can see this machine this is a pulverizer and this is the tray dryer and this is a quality control equipments also we have. One is hot air oven where we control the temperature so that the moisture can be determined because moisture plays an important role and it determines the shelf life of the value added product. So lower the moisture, the higher the shelf life. And, I call it, and we are certifying it in the cover that it is stable for three months or six months or one year depending upon the moisture content that is present in the sample. And then we are also having vacuum packaging machine. Here uh, the vacuum is, the air is, uh, uh, exhausted and uh, without air the product value added products are packed so that the shelf life of the product can be improved even up to one year the kurkure biscuits or uh, muffins everything can be included can be uh, increased to one year storage and where the these uh, millet based value added products are not found it can be exported also this type of packaging system can be used for export purposes and flavor coating machine also we are having and this is the figure which we can see this is a kurkure, this is a pasta, this is a vermicelli, and ragi and millet analog. We are having millet analog also, rice like rice analog. And then we can you see the poha, and this is a murmura, and uh, you can see the grains after dehulling, and uh, this is the flaked products. Uh, then uh, this is the hard kurkure, and this is a corn flakes. This is a millet flakes, breakfast uh, millet flakes, and then the biscuits, the cookies uh, that we make from the millets. And the burger, uh, where we can substitute the millets, uh, millet flour, and then the millet idli, instant mixes. We have developed uh, several instant mixes, uh, Bizibella bath mix, and then uh, idli mixes, dosa mixes. And then uh, you can also see the pasta of different shapes and size and muruku. This is a very popular snack food, which is uh, uh, found in uh, Indian cities. And uh, uh, we have developed the muruku also in a different shapes and size. And uh, we have got an uh, automatic muruku making machine and then automatic frying machine and then the excess oil coating machine also we have and we have made the process continuous 
and then the chicky baking machine also we are having and then the conical roaster because the roasting helps to increase the shelf life of the product and it improves the taste also so we have gone for a, a aging improving the aging process and simulating the aging process through roasting and then we have got the packed or jowar atta jowar rava and you can also have the, you can see the rancy mat where uh, here the oil the uh, that is present in the value added product uh, destroys the product after the uh, after 3 months of storage or 1 month of storage so we can ascertain it uh, using this rancy mat machine and then here we can also see the sock set apparatus where the oil can be uh, estimated and then the noodle making machine where the chinese noodles the continuous chinese noodles of different shapes and a different string length can be made and it can be adjusted for the millets also different types of millets major millets and minor millets and its combinations and then you can see this uh, automatic uh, protein uh, gel tag apparatus this is the latest gel tag apparatus we have it is very helpful in quality ensuring apparatus and this is a particle size apparatus we are having analyzer where the particle size uh, which determines the quality of the product as well as the digestive nature of the millets for uh, suiting to all classes of people of uh, small kids uh, adults and uh, uh, aged people as well as diabetic people because for its nutraceutical properties and then this is the spray dryer so millet milk beverage we have made so a spray dryer is used for making the powdering the millet milk so that uh, the taste and the flavor do not get uh, disturbed and when it is it can be recooked to the millet milk when the warm water is added to it and uh, it is flavored also the powder is flavored and uh, so we have uh, developed all the machineries to suit some of the machineries to suit some of the value added products there are many value added products and we have made it a continuous process also so primary processing and secondary processing we have connected to make it continuous here semolina process is made continuous and idli rava upma rava and uh, kichdi rava can be made using this giant machineries of 1 ton per hour capacity and uh, three different outlets we have one is chakki mill outlet hammer mill outlet and roller mill outlet and uh, this is a baking line also we have made continuous here biscuits of different shapes crack jack biscuits mary biscuits and then uh, uh, good day biscuits can be made in a continuous way so that the uh, oven uh, baking can be avoided and even thousand biscuits can be baked at a time but in the batch process only 500 biscuits can be baked at a time so when a uh, order is placed for 1000 biscuits so this type of lines will help to improve the efficiency and to improve the profitability of the business enterprises of small scale business enterprises and uh, this is the next uh, the for oven that is present for uh, making the biscuits and there is a computer com computerized control for temperature and time and this is the uh, uh, batch process equipments and uh, the duty nutri bar making machine is also there and packing line so we have got a uh, different types of packaging so two to two biscuit packaging 10 biscuit packaging depending upon the orders we can pack uh, it and uh, we are also having uh, this is a pop gun and this is a murku making machine and uh, this is the chikki making machine this is a uh, we have made the flaking process also scaled up process and then uh, we have also got the uh, form fill and seal machine which is used for packing so measured amounts of flour atta or value added products cheese balls or anything else that can be prepared using pea muffins cakes or small uh, tidbits or namak para can be uh, packed in this form fill and seal machine it can be automatically there are three different parts one is for forming one is for filling and next is for sealing so these are some of the secondary processing machinery facility that we have in iimr in the institute of millet research and thanks to the directors which who have provided all the facilities and all the facility all the these equipments to come and many more uh, equipments have to come and we are uh, uh, for the we are very much thankful to this international year of millets uh, because uh, which is very much uh, very uh, uh, possible for this uh, uh, value added products so this uh, food processing that uh, food engineering and food processing have come to a higher bloom and uh, we have developed so many products and this is uh, only very few and we have also some uh, developed some recipe books uh, we in different languages so that uh, we can have a ref ready reference in our house for uh, making this uh, millet based value products so thank you for the given opportunity and if any questions i will answer